John Paul II and John XXIII were two of the Catholic Church's most loved pontiffs of the 20th century. Tomorrow, they will make another mark in history when Pope Francis elevates them to sainthood. Millions of pilgrims are expected to witness Sunday's ceremony, but as Stuart Greer reports, it doesn't come without controversy. The faithful have been flooding in for days as Vatican workers scramble to make the final touches on St. Peter's Square. An estimated three million Catholics have flocked to Rome to witness the double canonization of Popes John the 23rd and John Paul the second. I think it's a wonderful thing that, he, that he's going to be sainted. Um, I think he was a wonderful man. A large contingent of pilgrims, including this convoy of bikers, made the journey from Pope John Paul's native country, Poland. As the first non-Italian pope in over four centuries, John Paul used his papacy during the Cold War to fight communist dictatorships in his homeland and around the world. John Paul II was the first pope of the globalization. He transformed the Roman Catholic papacy into the spokesman of liberty and human dignity all over the world. But his canonization is not without controversy. Some say he should not be made saint at all due to his failure to respond to the child sex abuse crisis. John Paul's biographer admits he was slow to grasp the scale of the scandal. The Pope was not living this crisis in real time. As for Pope John XXIII, he only led the church for five years, but revolutionized the way Catholics worshipped. Under Vatican II in 1962, he allowed Mass to be celebrated in languages other than Latin. His common touch and openness to other faiths earned him the nickname, the Good Pope. Every saint, of course, needs a miracle. Pope John XXIII is said to have healed a sickly nun. And this Costa Rican woman said her brain aneurysm disappeared when she looked at a magazine photo of Pope John Paul II. Miracles or not, there is no doubting the affection for both of these popes. Their faces are everywhere in Rome, on walls, on metro tickets, and of course in souvenir shops. There are even two musicals about Pope John Paul's life. And Sunday's canonization will be a spectacle in itself with two living popes, Francis and Benedict, assisting in the historic mass. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.